It's my life. guys welcome back to the channel Jimmy flipping deals uh, a couple different updates for you today uh, for the shipping container not a lot has happened in all honesty uh, but the the update that I do have for you on the shipping container which I think is just totally totally awesome is uh, it rained it stormed last night first time in 42 years here in the state of Texas it actually rained for hours it poured and I went into the trailer today to look at the leak or possible leak that I had spotted in the trailer and there was nothing that ground on the, the ground. The floor inside the trailer was just absolutely dry, absolutely dry. Uh, so phenomenal, phenomenal. I'm just super stoked about that. That's one less expense. eBay sales are slow, well not just eBay, like sales are slow. Uh, which is hurting me. I, I uh, in all honesty, as far as it's eBay, uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. I am looking month over month. I am down 50 percent with with a five and a zero, like 50 percent. I'm down on eBay, and it's the same stuff uh, that sold last month. I have more of it, and people just are buying at the moment not, not what I'm selling so uh, uh, I understand that uh, I have bad buys just like everybody else uh, but you can't die uh, you can't you can't go 50% difference night and day on the same merchandise and blame it on the merchandise I'm not gonna necessarily blame it on the site I'm not gonna blame it on the economy uh, I think however both are contributing factors I believe also in all fairness that there is a percentage of my stuff uh, that, that may not ever sell and that's fine with me like but but it's not the bulk of it uh, I do believe that everybody is hurting uh, or, or a good percentage of people on eBay and on marketplaces uh, nationwide are struggling to gain that uh, that market share at the moment and I believe that's resulting uh, to everybody uh, cutting their prices in a way that if you are not super aggressive right now uh, you're not gonna make a sale but at the point that you're super aggressive are you really pulling a profit you know uh, and I'm not in the habit of doing all of my work for free so I do believe at this point for me and for uh, the people that are able to do so uh, that you should that I should weather the storm uh, so to speak uh, Christmas is on the way now I've heard people say that Christmas is going to be tight this year that I've, I've heard people in my life say well I'm not going to be able to spend much on Christmas this year and, and I get it I get it you know things are up so much I hear words like the silent depression and things like that and, and mathematically I can see evidence of that I've seen evidence of that for literally decades now however uh, you know I literally on eBay like say month over month down 50% uh, year over year roughly the same and I have twice as much merchandise now as I did last year so uh, and, and I'm not beat up about it uh, I am with, with diversifying through all of the marketplaces I am pulling almost enough at the moment to be happy uh, which I really thought was going to be a struggle at this point of the year considering the actual size of my store that I am. I really question whether or not I have enough to sustain a, uh, uh, a full-time uh, position as a reseller uh, rather than a three-quarter, you know, a part-time worker and a, and, and a most-of-the-time reseller or a 
or you know a half and half I like I don't know where uh, coming into this that this uh, actually played a part for 2023 moving into 2024 and I knew if I had an outstanding Christmas that 2024 would probably be okay as a hundred percent reseller uh, we're off to a decent start we're pretty well on track with that so uh, ultimately I am happy I don't know how y'all are doing y'all let me know in the comments y'all let me know what you what your thoughts are as far as eBay as far as the economy in general uh, do you think that plays a part in the sales uh, that we are or we aren't having at the moment because uh, I know that some people I know when I was popping over the last couple months I could hear other people that were not you know uh, as school was coming into to season I do have a lot of things that that cater to the school season matter of fact coming into Christmas I do not have a whole lot that in my mind is Christmas oriented however it's everyday oriented and a lot of times people use uh, the excuse of Christmas uh, as a time to to hold on to your money until then and then spend it on everyday stuff you know I don't know how many times I have heard it while shopping in the last week or two you know I don't know if that's a good birthday gift but it's a good Christmas gift you know we ought to do it for Christmas we ought to save that get something little now and save that until Christmas which is, you know it wasn't a, a big gift necessarily but it's all relative to the amount of money that you have to spend right and I think a lot of people are watching uh, their money uh, close this year and it may very well be like every year but I know that the bills have disproportionately raised uh, over the years where our pay has not proportionately had the same increase uh, case in point my my water just raised me 10% right no big deal uh, however I know I didn't get a 10% raise year to year you know my my insurance company raised me 15% this year I know I didn't get a 15% raise this year I, and, and across the board uh, we see things like that so uh, it's further cutting and cutting that disposable income uh, that uh, possibly uh, affecting the way that we spend. Now I combat that personally and I don't know how y'all do. Y'all let me know how uh, that affects you as far as the way you buy but personally I buy everyday items. Alright, uh, you know I heard a uh, stock investor at one point say he only invested in toilet paper stocks and he I'm not saying he invested in toilet paper but he called a, a group of stocks toilet paper stocks because whether the markets up whether the markets down whether the markets left whether the markets right like people need these things I'm at the post office I will catch you all in a minute It's my life.